So let's dive in with the first of two clips by Grubar, two very good situational awareness clips and play reads uh, by Grubar here. Let's take a look at this first one. So right there is a fantastic read by Grubar. Let's watch this one more time in slow motion. Puck gets shot wide. Battle behind the net. Matthews starts to make his way. Round Grubar gets to the post. Matthews gets the puck. And Grubar with a great save. Now something I want you to watch here and I'd like to talk about with everybody is just the awareness by Grubar to recognize even when he doesn't have eyes on the puck or loses it, he can still make a save and make a prediction on where this puck's going just based on what little he sees through this lane right here. Matthews gets this puck from low to high. He starts to travel. Now watch Grubar here. He's on the post. He's sealed up. Nothing's going to go here, but now he peeks his head and he recognizes this lane and he gets a glimpse of Matthews and knowing that he's a left-handed shot and his momentum backwards skating going this way, he knows Matthews is pulling this puck and waiting for an opportunity to either take this shot here or to take this shot here, especially with all the Colorado Avalanche players low in the zone right here. He knows the shot is coming eventually and just by getting that quick little peek, he makes himself big then he loses it and then he can predict just based on this pull drag here with minimal vision he knows this pull drag shot he's trying to go far side so what does grubar do he makes this push into the save now even without having eyes on the puck he he can predict and, and make a save and assume that that's where that puck is traveling and he does a good job of making a save and just reading the play and predicting of where he's going to fire this shot covering short side initially because of this lane right here but then knowing where matthews is headed and the momentum he's going and the hand of shot he has he's easily to predict he can easily predict where this shot's going and he makes a good save and it's a good example of of you know not necessarily needing to have eyes on the puck to predict where this puck is going taking advantage of the small window you have and recognizing the play and what's going on around you to make a save. And sometimes this game moves so quick that we're not always gonna have eyes on the puck right away, or we might have small windows to where we'll get a glimpse of the puck, but then we have no idea because of traffic in front of the net where the puck is going to go. But he does a great job here of just using his awareness, knowing where he is in the net, and is able to gain a little bit of depth and make a good shoulder save when he loses the puck through traffic. Great awareness by Grubar. Here's another great play read by Grubar here, right off the face off, a good scoring opportunity. Let's watch this one. All right, pretty, pretty easy save for the most part for Grubar, but something I want you to recognize, and, and it's such a small detail, but uh, Grubar does a great job, and it's a great read by him. And, and not only does he control the rebound easily, but I want you to recognize what he does right before or as this puck's getting traveled uh, to right here. So before this faceoff even happens, I, I bet you any money Grubar recognizes the hand of this shooter right here knowing that the defenseman his hand is left-handed here and a right-handed d here he knows if this puck gets one back um you know he can he can predict what lane this defenseman has to try to get this puck to the net so as this puck starts to travel back after the faceoff is won by toronto look at the side of the screen he chooses to pick now the puck travels over here but he chooses 
as this puck travels to the point to stay on this side, right? He knows with this forward or this defenseman at the point here and what hand he is, he stays on this side knowing the hand of the shooter. With all this traffic here, he knows the probability of this puck going across far side is probably very low. A defenseman going cross body to try to shoot through one, two, three, four, even five bodies here is going to be very unlikely. So he picks the good side of this screen to look through, leans over as this puck starts to get traveled, has eyes on the puck the whole way and is able to make a good gut trap save to control the rebound and get a whistle. And it's such a small detailed play, but if he decides to look on this side of the crease, say this puck is one here and goes to the point and he decides to look on maybe this side or move his head this way to try to look for the screen, he's gonna have a lot of traffic, a lot of interference, and he's not gonna have eyes on this puck traveling here. So he does a great job of recognizing the lane, knowing the hand of this defenseman, to keep eyes on the puck, to be able to make a routine easy save. And that's just great play read here. Eyes on it the whole way. Quick and easy save by Grubar. And that just comes from being aware of the situation, right? And I tell my goalies this all the time. When we go back and watch film, recognize the hand of the shooters. Recognize where the defense are and their hand. Same thing with the forwards. Think of every possible situation to where wherever this puck is going to get won, especially if it's going to go to the point. Have an idea of if this guy is a left-handed shot, you know the general lanes that this defenseman's going to want to try to get the puck through because of the hand. Now, if he's a right-handed shot, then most likely if this stick is over here, most likely this lane is going to be right through this side. So recognizing the hand of a shooter or a defenseman uh, can make a difference on the probability of which side of the lane or which side of the screen am I going to look for um, to better get eyes on the puck. And being that one or two steps ahead is sometimes the difference between a save and a goal and Grubar makes it look really easy here uh, with this save. And, it, and it's just plain good um, situational awareness. And it's a great play read.